All right, so we are back and what the hell? Yo, this thing played without my permission. Bruh, bruh, bruh. I was playing without my permission. How dare you, computer? All right, so, um, yeah, we're going to be getting... Remember, Last and Blux is still going to be on stream. They're going to be commentating here. Uh, and I hope you guys are enjoying them. Please give them a warm welcome. We're going to be getting here with Yasuka and Raven King. I'm looking forward to this match. I think it's going to be super hype. And the commentary team with the taboo is going to be awesome as hell, too. Let's get them here on the mic. Welcome, our boys. Where are they? No, we're good on Echo, yo, it sounds yo, like. Homies. All right, good. I um, I think it was straight out of Smash Station 2. Uh, Lanny and me had a thug finals Ganon Ditto, and I beat Lanny <laughs> in the Ganon Ditto. Oh, hello. <laughs> How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to Top 8. It's going to be a hype Top 8. We got two Ikes, two Kens. A Luigi? Well, that's not hype, but, uh... <laughs> Ooh, calling Luigi players everywhere out. <laughs> Man, like, how can you find Luigi hype? Like, talk to anyone that's not a Luigi main and ask them if he's hype. <laughs> I, I wasn't disagreeing with you, I'm just saying you might be- you might be inviting a Twitter war there, my friend. Nah, everyone knows that Luigi is... whack. And before Blux gets like 400 ads on Twitter about how good Luigi is. Yeah, gaming high 9 times 9 is gonna <laughs> like. Or I, I just said 9, nine times 9, I'm stupid. Oh nine boy, 9 times 9. Is gonna, <laughs> he's gonna like, come from my throat. In any case, we are going to be coming at you with this first game of top 8 of Raven King vs. Yasaka. We saw Yasaka earlier on stream versus uh, versus that Bayonetta player, Grey Clash, and he was doing very well, especially with his placements of C4s, which were, he was it was almost like he was reading Grey Cloud's mind. Yeah, and Raven King, uh, most, most people know about Raven King. I think he's number two in Chicago, and he's uh, considered one of the best dykes in the world, so... So this uh, this matchup, I think if this was uh, just two anybody's, uh, it could be considered heavily in Snake's favor just because of his ability to zone his opponent out. But I think the way that Raven King plays, we saw him do so well against Webb's Lucas earlier. I think he's got the ability to get past those zoners pretty easily and do what he needs to do to win the game. Yeah, Raven King is very skilled at zone breaking. Like, he just gets past all the walls of all those zoning characters, like as you see there, and he gets all that damage racked up, and then... We'll... We see... Sorry, go ahead. Uh, you can talk. Uh, we, we already see Yasaka making very good use of his grenades to just try and keep Raven King at bay, but like you were saying, he's doing an amazing job of breaking that zoning and just getting in there and hitting his opponent for as much damage as he possibly can. And we already see he's at oh, almost triple digits already, and it's only been 40 seconds. Yeah, one air up air is gonna kill all- of, I'm surprised that didn't kill, to be honest. Like, Ike, is thick. Ike up air is, like, so strong. Like, you just get hit by Nair, Nair, up air. Oh, dash attack, yeah. Yeah, getting caught by that dash attack while he was cooking the grenade. That was not a, a good position to be caught in right there. And Raven King did a fantastic job of capitalizing on Yasaka's momentary uh, vulnerability right there. To just run in, dash attack, get that easy kill. And now he's going to be trying to just do as much as he can to build up percent for one of those random fireworks pops off and manages to take the stock. That way he has as much of an advantage as possible. Yeah, Yasaka needs to get this kill as soon as possible because Ike is pretty heavy. And yeah, look at that. Ike of Rage just killed him. And That was 83% and he's dead. <laughs> like, you see what I'm talking about? Like, Yasaka needs to kill him like right now to get back in the game the 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 fact that uh raven king is living to 156 percent uh is just insane that we're seeing right there um to be able to live that long and just keep dealing damage dishing it out to his opponent without really any response there uh 
seeing if he can, in fact, get an another kill. This might even be a tree. I don't want to jinx it, but... Are we going to see the edge guard? Oh, just barely avoiding it and not reacting to that. He could have gotten a grab. Oh, that's going to do it. No tree stock. No tree. Yeah, but Raven King got a lot out of that first stock. Like he was reading all of Yasuka's options and noticed that he was getting nervous and just capitalized off of it. Yeah, oh. Raven King having, uh, having his opponent already in triple digits while still being at zero on his second stock and then connecting with that volcano, he, he controlled the momentum of that game the entire time. We were talking about how uh, it might be a good matchup for Snake because he had the potential to just keep his opponent zoned out the entire time. But uh, like you mentioned earlier, Raven King destroyed his game plan right there. Just came in and smacked him. Yeah, he was just doing such a good job of reading his options, grabbing him when he was panic shielding, uh, nearing when he noticed that he was jumping in and just getting those early kills. Like... That's some top player adaptation, if you ask me. I think uh, maybe it could also be a product of the fact that uh, Snake isn't a fun matchup for Ike, so maybe Raven King just straight up practiced it. Maybe he's put a ton of hours into learning how to break specifically that kind of zoning, because it seemed like every single move there was practiced with precision to be able to just jump past those grenades, jump past Nikita, jump past C4, and just get those Nair up air combos in to build up massive amounts of percent. Yeah, but we'll see uh, if Yasaka can bring this back versus Raven King. Yeah, with the with the counter pick earlier against uh, Gray's Bayonetta, we did see uh, Yasaka counter pick to Lilat. So I wonder if Raven King knows about that and he's going to ban it as soon as he can, or if Yasaka will try that Lilat counter pick again because it did work out for, uh, for Yasaka against. Uh, the Bayonetta player because Lila uh, got him a game two win and then allowed him to carry momentum and win game three. Yeah, I don't think we're going to see a, a platform stage because I can really get those Nair combos going on like Battlefield, PS2, Smashville, you name it. Yeah, I think if I were uh, Raven King banning stages, the first thing that I would ban is Kalos because the massive stage and the high side platforms just give... Uh, snake the opportunity to run away and throw stuff at you all day long. Yeah, I I'm expecting an auto ban for that one. So I I believe we're either going to see maybe a final destination or uh, a lilac pick because of the fact that uh, you know Snake will have such an easy time of just th uh, either hiding C4s on the black stage and avoiding Ike's uh, platform combos and just doing what he can to prevent uh, his opponent from just coming in and breaking that zoning like he did on PS2. Yeah, that's one thing I didn't think about. He can hide the C4 much more easily. Yeah, those like... black stages, when the light isn't flashing, the uh, the black stages do a fantastic job of keeping the C4 concealed. So if Raven King stops paying attention just for one second while he drops that C4, he'll have no idea where it is. Yeah, dark projectiles or characters on dark stages are not a good mix. Like, have you fought a Game & Watch on Lilat yet? Game & Watch Lilat is uh, yeah. definitely a thing that exists and shouldn't. <laughs> yeah, and a lot of the Game & Watch players pick the black, black skin just to be evil. <laughs> yeah, they'll, um, that's, that's a legit strategy, is um, going dark characters on dark stages just to try and get that slight little edge on your opponent. Yeah. You ever played uh, Black Game & Watch on Lilat in handheld mode? Oh god. <laughs> he, he's literally invisible. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a tough time. Uh, it's more like you just get to watch your opponent SD a bunch of times because they can't even see themselves. Oh my god. Right. I wonder why they're taking so long with their, um, their stage pick. I, I didn't hear that a lag test was called, but because it, it didn't look laggy to me at least. Um, but they uh, they want one of you out, but I'm saying no. Oh boy. Oh. Yeah, because uh, that's starting to get really frustrating every single time. 
we're told to get someone out. I mean, the point is you guys are relieving me, and then you guys come in one match and already got to leave? I don't think so. Um, I can leave if they really want me to. That is not a situation I expected to face. Yeah. It happens like every week now, man. Uh, I don't know. Maybe what we could do, uh, are you able to stream to Discord? And then both of us can leave no. the leave the lobby and watch no, it on Discord? No, I tried. Because hmm. hmm. my, uh, I don't... I mean, I don't know. Does, my capture card lets me do that, so that's what I do for some some of my tournaments. The connection seems fine right now. Yeah. It does. I don't know. Crispy. Um. Let me see the other guy. This is always a difficult uh, situation to end up in. Yeah. Hashtag fix ultimate online. Amen to that, brother. Ah. <laughs> huh. So anyway, how's your day going? <laughs> Uh, my day's been going pretty well. I got uh, two o or two owed in a uh, in this tournament. I played uh, Diz, the Piranha Plant player, and then I just played some random game and watched and got wrecked. Uh, I hope you didn't see me getting molly walked by Satonics on stream earlier. I but did see that. It was pretty good. <laughs> I misinputted so many times, and he just like. Ah, oh, I don't. I, no, no, no. That set never happened. That set never happened. That set never happened. Wipe it from your memory. Yeah, I'm wiping that from my memory. Wait, I don't. Uh, I can't speak for. I know for a fact G has really good internet. I have good internet, and I'm on LAN. Yeah, I also have pretty good internet. So I don't know. This this connection looks fine. Nice and crisp. Yeah. And I, I did definitely didn't notice any lag spikes or anything of the like when Raven King and Yasaka were playing. So I'm not sure what prompted the call for a lag test. Maybe like input delay or something? I'm not sure. Yeah, it seems pretty crispy right now. Like a McDonald's Sprite. Yeah, like those Burger King fries. Uh, right now on the mic is myself, I'm last, and with me is Bluxious. Yeah. Oh, it's Syrup. What's up? Hey, Syrup. The 12-year-old Ness Prodigy player. Oh boy, Prodigies. They're everywhere now. Yeah. Uh, Alright, I'll solo commentate this one. Okay. Right. Uh, we'll we'll back That's out annoying. and wait for uh for the next one. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I already told him that I'm I'm only doing this for this set. I'm not gonna I won't do I won't do that again. You got it, Chief. Okay. Oh my God. All right, all right, all right. So um, I guess. <laughs> What's up, chat? <laughs> I'm back. Uh, sooner than expected. Uh, I just said that to Yasaka. So y Yasaka had a lot of input delay. I won't deny it. Raven King, the connection was really nice, but uh, it's tough. We'll see. We'll see. But Yasaka did have a lot, so I got to make that accommodation. All right, so we'll be going to Battlefield now. I mean, I gotta say, oh wait, are they button checking or a match? I, I can't even tell them. All right, I think this is a match. I think this is a match. But regardless, we're gonna see there, Raven King gonna connect very nicely there. 
already quickly gained 42%, but damn, was sleeping a little bit there. And connect, uh, Yasuka is going to sneak in a nice little uh, grenade. I think that was a grenade. He's going to operate there with the neutral there, but he should have seen that grenade coming. And look at that. These two exchanging so many blows, and they're pretty much even out. Raven King, though, was off to a great start, but Yasuka playing Snake, you know, it's always going to be that comeback factor. They're always going to want to try, try to take as much percentage as he possibly can. Darcy, one more time. Raven King gonna sneak in that forward tilt. Great stuff there. 64%. Man, you forget just how strong Ike could be. And now Yasuka is down a whole stock there. And Ike, he's kind of a big boy. He's gonna be able to take in some hits too. A lot of times, Snakes, they do not mind uh, trading, like uh, changing blows there with their opponents. Because a lot of times, Snake can handle a lot of hits. Grenades, doesn't matter the percentage. Snake's a pretty great comeback character. But Ike, yo, he's got the muscle, bro. His homie hits the gym. He weighs a lot. He's got that mass, so he's gonna be able to take as many hits as uh, safe as well. Not gonna be too great, great use for Yasuka with Raven King in the lead, but he's gonna be able to get the Nikita there, thrown off Raven King one more time, almost getting picked off. But the up B will connect very nicely, gonna be throwing him up there. And already though, Raven King trying to, trying to go ahead right there, finish him off on the second stock. He saw 157. He does eat the Tims. That is going to be it. Did he go for the grab? He actually opted for the roll instead. I guess he was worried to see Yasuka maybe kind of get the up tilt ready. Baby King playing this one a little bit slower because he recognized that he's been hit pretty hard. And if Yasuka connects really nicely, never mind that beautiful play there from Raven King, who is already going to be having Yasuka down to his last stock. The Nikita is going to be picking him up. And we'll be taking that first stock right there. Yasuka down to 0%. Last stock. Very, very possible. You mean you play Snake. That is the comeback factor right there. Yasuka trying to hide under that left platform. It's not doing anything. But the Nikita actually will connect. But the up B right there. Right from Raven King. Will go ahead and get some more percentages onto Yasuka. Trying to look for that up there, I mean the neutral air into the up tilt, but Yasuko was able to go and shield all of that. Right now, Raven King looking extremely comfortable here on Battlefield. I mean, I have to say, Fire Emblem characters, they love them platforms, and I think Raven King here used to utilizing them, but very nice grab there, leading into the up smash, and the kid is going to connect, finally starting to get some pretty pretty good percentage here onto Raven King's uh, second stock. Back, back here, not going to be able to connect, and he does have a lot more options. He's been given more opportunity to try to connect with his aerials. And he was not able to, to connect successfully, but did have the grenade, but he's dunked with the forward air. He has no jump, and he's going to give this one up. Raven King doing quick work right here with that second game. Now, let's take a look here. I think I got that replay, man. We got to see it. Hopefully, I got it. So top eight is best of five, just so you know. So there's still one more game here. Raven King, I can't believe from 171%. So dangerous and it didn't mean nothing to him. That homie was not afraid. Connect extremely nicely there. 2-0 for Raven King. Yasuka right now needs to make the big plays here to bring this head back to some kind of opportunity here. Ooh, I missed that follow there from, from Pofe. Pofe. Thank you so much for the follow, homie. The Goat King. <laughs> Let's go. Yo, what's a raven, right? Goat King. Let's go. Oh, my God. If he goes to Grand Finals for Winterside, I'm going to change his name to Goat King. <laughs> Let's drop Nair Bear is so disgusting. Oh, my God. Pulled that off so nicely to a 170%. The cojones to make that play work. And Raven King was not afraid.
And here we go into game three. Now remember, Raven King is just one win away right here to make it onto winner's finals. I don't know how the other set is going, so I don't know who's meeting him there so far. But we are going to be heading here to Kalos. And Raven King, now he is going to be having... It's actually a really good pick from Yasuka's side. He's going to be able to have that flat stage to play around. Raven King not going to have those platforms. You saw how Raven King works with platforms. Battlefield was such a dominant performance there. Yasuka was trying to go with the forward smash already. Now, the forward smash... It definitely hits hard in this one, but there, it's really hard to connect with just because of how long it takes for that move to come out. But Raven King out here with their own forward smash, almost taking that one right there. If the forward smash charged that much, it's such a powerful move, it would have actually taken that stock, no matter how dumb you think Snake be. Right now, Raven King here has an opportunity here to end this stock and take this early lead. And already, just like that, with the neutral air on the last hit, connects very nicely with the back here to send Yasuka flying, but could not go ahead and, and land the critical hit. Oh, the Cytonics already win? Holy cow. All right, so Cytonics will be waiting here in winner's finals for the winner of this match. And that's going to be an interesting one to see now. Ryasuka being the surprise top eight uh, presence here, beating out Great Clash there. And that was quite an upset. And now playing very nicely here. But Ike, definitely a much better matchup than Bayonetta was. And now you see here on Raven King's dealing with the snake very, very well. Raven King takes away the first stock right now. Going to be at 94%. He's going to throw him up. Oh, he tried to go with the C4 read. That was a beautiful attempt. But Raven King, luckily there, that C4 does not uh, uh, explode just in time. But the Tims will do it. Raven King right here. Going to be two stocks apiece. 0%. It's looking a lot closer now. And once again, these guys are in a frenzy. And Raven King keeps trying for that forward smash. I mean, he is very, very close. If he just releases a little bit sooner, he will be able to land those. He may attempt to go for it again, but I don't know about it right now. Yasuka going to be using that up to there to just get him out of there. Sick of all that pressure here. And this time around, Kalos is such a much closer match. We saw how that first game went. Almost a, a tree stock there for Raven King. Actually, it was a JV tree. We saw a two stock dominant performance on Battlefield. But now... We are seeing a real match here unfold as Yasuka is doing so much better now on Kalos. The flat stage helping him out a lot. He is able to barely live that dash attack. And he's going all the way to the top of that blast zone here to try to get out of this situation. Yasuka could not throw that grenade in time. And unfortunately going to eat this percentage. But that that allowed for a lot of confusion here for Yasuka to be able to just roll around. Omao Moshinderu up tilt. And Raven King now down there to the last stock. Grenade to up tilt back here. 43% and still continuing it on. And this is exactly where Snakes love to be right here. In the lead. High percentages. Trades after trades. Because for them this is great. This is great news. Every time Raven King gets. Even every time he exchanges a trade. Yes, Yasuka's percentage goes higher, but it doesn't matter because Raven King is the one down to their last stock. That up tilt there, though, sending Raven King dangerously close to the top of the blast zone and lands straight into an up smash. Yasuka almost finishing it off right now, trying to get his own reverse two stock. <laughs> I guess the side B connects right there onto the. He's stuck in the Kita animation. But 146% Yasuka right now is extremely comfy. We're going to need to see like 8 nares out of Raven King to see this one even remotely come back. Yasuka could not connect with the C4. Has an up smash there ready. Raven King not making it easy. He's not landing to anything uh, easy just yet. And now you see there... Raven King respecting the up tilt. He is connecting with some very decent strings right now. 61% starting to get higher. 80% and already we are starting to see a dangerous percent. Yasuka with the wrong direction of the up tilt. That could have been it here. We could have gotten a game four. I mean, he still has a chance right now. But Raven King, 160%. And as this match continues on, Raven King is getting closer and closer to bringing this one back. Yasuka just needs that up tilt. That grenade, though, is setting him pretty high. And Raven King needs to start becoming a little bit more careful and landing on those grenades. Trying to uh, bait the approach. He does connect with it with the neutral to the up air. It's not going to be enough just yet. If that was any other character, that could have been it. The key to the connects is not going to be enough. Raven King afraid has to stay in shield. Has a side B to rip right through him on that grenade animation. He is sent all the way to the top at 223%. He could not land there from y y Yasuka. The up tilt's not going to come out, but he will this time around. Oh my god. Yo, that was so close. That was crazy.
Let's just take a look at how close that was. This homie was at 208 percent, 223. Still wasn't enough, but the grenade right there. You see, a Raven King couldn't land there because the Nikita that would have sent him flying. Now he had the chance right there, but unfortunately he missed it. Froze just a little bit, and Yasuka took advantage of that completely. All right, so while we wait here for this bracket here to unfold, as, as mentioned to me already beforehand, Cytonics 3-1 victory over Dr. Mario and is waiting in winner's finals for the winner of this set. WebJP is up 2-1 against Great Clash, and the winner of that will be moving on to play against Dr. Mario. Guts and Andres FN, um, I don't know what's happening here, actually. All right, so they, they haven't started yet, I guess. They're both at 0-0 so far, and it's going to be Guts and Andres. They're going to be facing off against the loser of this match. And regardless, man, Raven King, Yasuka, that's not going to be easy. This whole top eight ain't going to be easy, man. This whole tournament has been easy ever since, like, top 64. E even, like, some matches to qualify in the top 64 were ridiculous. Oh, you had to undq on this? Ah, uh, okay, okay, okay. Andresito, that's hilarious. <laughs> All right, we're gonna get the homies back here in the arena. They're gonna be unfolding here for game four, where Raven King just needs one win. Now he is in a great position, considering the fact that this will be his counterpick. Final go! destination. All right, that's gonna be a surprising one out of Raven King. We saw Yasuka, you know, how strong he dominated uh, Great Clash here on Final Destination, showing that he prefers a much flatter stage and also winning off of Kalos. But Raven can go in all the way off the stage, forcing Yasuka to have to go and just barely make it back onto the ledge. And now with the Tomahawk fake into the second nair, Raven King almost taking the stealing that first stock away. Neutral air is going to be hitting that grenade, unfortunately, and he could not connect with that back here. Yasuka once more with the GTFO up tilt into the up air. Yasuka looking for that uh, game five right now. Raven King, though, has been a very high percent and quickly responds right here, taking away that stock. Both of these competitors now at 0% on their second. Raven King, unfortunately, will be landing straight into an up smash, followed up by all the grenades. That up tilt to respond to the neutral was a great anti air option. Raven King right now looking for one mistake out of Yasuka. They're connected to the nice little neutral airs. Up tilt though, man, that thing is super disjointed. That will hit you from so far. And it's a great coverage there out of those grenades. He is going to be able to connect with that neutral air. Yasuka though finds his way back onto the ledge with safety. Raven King right now, man, kind of popping off with the charge up smash. But Snake, don't be thick. Living that no problem. Raven King almost catching that air, do air dodge with the forward air, which would have potentially taken that stock for sure. Grenade though in hand from Yasuka. Pulling out all the defensive measures here to make sure it's not gonna be easy, but it don't matter. Raven King with that up air. He's feeling himself right there. You see it with that quick dash dancing. He knows victory is close. Neutral air into that nice little uh, back air, I think it was. Go into the grab, and now you see him popping off at the moment. That's disgusting. It's not going to get it, though. Yo, I was so ready for the replay. I was so ready for that Twitch clip. Up smash going to connect super nicely here. Yasuka is trying to find it. He is going to be able to connect with that up smash into the Nikita snipe. Yasuka is not done just yet. Up till not gonna connect. And that up smash first hit is actually being able to scoop up Raven King quite often. Look how quickly that, that grenade comes out there to get Yasuka out of trouble. Dash attack connecting super nicely, keeping Yasuka there off uh, on neutral. Dice try to land and Nikita covering those options super nicely and with the grenades to boot. But that up air, oh, Raven King couldn't buffer to jump in time there to connect with the up air. Looking for the neutral air. He is going to get the read with the up smash. Raven King heading on here to winner's finals. Wow, your skills are remarkable. Damn. Woof. Beautiful stuff there out of Raven King. But Yasuka almost bringing that back. That was very, very nice. So with that being said, we could finally welcome back our other commentators again. I apologize here for that. Um, but there you go, that up smash read there, very nice. 
So with that, we're going to go quickly into a little, very quick intermission just to get the winner's finals ready. We'll be back very, very shortly.